All right, hi everybody. These are some flowers I got on a walk I just took. And we're gonna start with this lily because it is a real simple flower for showing all the major parts. It has both male and female parts. And so it's a nice example. I'm gonna move these other ones out of the way. Start with the lily. So um, each of these flower buds is developing from a apical meristem tissue that's differentiating to specialize to create uh, the flower structure. Flowers only are gonna happen when the season is right because the plant, plant doesn't wanna waste energy creating a flower when it doesn't need one. And so the flower, the flower is on a stalk that um, branches and so each little stem piece that comes up to the flower is called the pedestal. So I'm gonna cut this one flower off. And let's just look at these that have yet to uh, bloom. So the, the outer part that's protecting the bud inside, those are the sepals. And so when the sepals open up in the blooming process is when the flower petals would be shown. So those are the sepals and they're protecting the bloom on the inside of this immature uh, flower bud. So I'm gonna set that one aside and go back to here. So in this one, the sepals look like petals, but they're still there. The sepals have just turned yellow by now. So they look like petals, but they're still there. And they're these lower, kind of outermost um, modified leaves on the base of the flower. So these are the sepals. I'm going to take off the three sepals of the lily. Remember the sepals I just took off are what were these green things covering up the flower bud. Then we're left with the petals and the petals have the job of attracting the pollinators. This lily is very likely pollinated by an insect because of its yellow color. So now I've taken off three petals. So I have three sepals and three petals. And I'm left with the male and female reproductive structures of the flower. So I'm gonna start by peeling off the stamen. And the stamens have the filament, which is the long stem part, the long tube stemmy part. Those are the filaments and they're holding up the anthers. And the anthers are the tips of the filaments right at the very top. And that's where the pollen is on the inside of those anthers. <clears throat> so this flower had six anthers. You're gonna start seeing that there's a, a pattern here. We had three sepals, we had three petals, we have a multiple of three and six filaments and anthers. And now we're left with the carpal, which is the female reproductive part of the plant. So the base of the carpal is the receptacle. That's um, where everything was attached to. Right down here is the receptacle. And if I cut, let's see if I can cut open this ovary. Yeah, nice, worked perfectly. I was able to cut open the ovary. So actually, there, this is all receptacle. This, this part is all receptacle. And the ovary is the green part at the base there. So the carpal together is the tip here, which is called the stigma. That's where the pollen's gonna land. This long tube is called the style and it goes all the way down into the ovary, which is the green part at the base. Let me see if I can bring it up into focus. This green part at the base is the ovary. And then um, if you see kind of the white inside the ovary, that's where the ovules are, and that's where the eggs are gonna be. So if this flower is pollinated, the pollen from the, an anther would land 
on the stigma. It grows a long tube all the way down the style into the ovary and then pollinates the egg which is inside the ovule. The pollinated egg becomes, uh, the pollinated ovule becomes a seed and the ovary is what swells up to become a fruit.